Hey, it's me again, your favorite mapper. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, but I promise this will be good. I promise. It's actually a collaboration. The second part will be on Monsieur Z's channel, so go and watch it. So, this video will be about what if Bulgaria joined the Entente in World War 1. So, my video will be the backstory, and his video will be covering the actual scenario. So, let's begin. Bulgaria, the smallest and weakest country in the central powers during World War 1. A country with so little and with so little significance that it might as well have been in the Entente. Nothing could have changed. Well, there is one way of finding out what could have happened if Bulgaria joined the Entente, that is, going back in time. And I mean, watching this video, this two parts, yeah, that, that's it. So let's begin with the backstory. 1878. After the Rus Turkish War, the Treaty of San Stefano was signed, with which Bulgaria gained independence from the Ottoman Empire, receiving most of its land, with majority of the population ethnically Bulgarian. Later the same year, the Congress of Berlin was held. This made Bulgaria almost half of the size of modern day Bulgaria. And, even worse, with it, an autonomous region was formed called Eastern Romania. So throughout the next 40 years, Bulgaria's missions would be to regain these lands back. In the autumn of 1885, the prince, Prince Alexander I Battenberg, marched his soldiers through the capital of Eastern Romania, Plovdiv, re reuniting Bulgaria once again. The Serbian king, King Milan I, realized that this was a great opportunity to, to gain some land, while the Bulgarian troops were in the other end of the country preparing for an attack from the Ottoman Empire. On the 14th of November 1885, Serbia declared war. Until the 16th of November, the Serbians had already made great advances, reaching as far as Vidin, but then the Bulgarian army arrived. They pushed the Serbians out of the Bulgarian land. The war ended on the 28th of November 1885 with a Bulgarian victory. This war was when the great powers realized that Bulgaria wasn't to mess around with. After that, in 1886, a treaty was signed with the Ottoman Empire with which Bulgaria was officially reunited once again. In 1887, Prince Ferdinand took the place of Alexander I Battenberg. The first 20 years, he wasn't a bad leader. In 1908, Bulgaria proclaimed itself an independent Tsardom, and he as a Tsar. And in 1909, this was recognized. Bulgaria still wanted to get its land back. So in 1912, Bulgaria started playing a war with the Ottomans with the goal of uniting all Bulgarians in one country. However, there was no way Bulgaria could have beaten the almighty empire on its own. So Bulgaria asked for Russia for help. Russia, however, refused to declare war, but gave the idea of creating a union in the Balkans, a league. So the same year the Balkan League was formed between the desperate for help Bulgaria and the even more desperate Serbia who also wanted land. Later Greece and Montenegro joined as well. The First Balkan War began on the 8th of October 1912, when Montenegro declared war on the Ottoman Empire, with the rest of the Balkan League joining shortly after. At the time Serbia had turned 255,000 men out of its population of less than 3 million men. Greece had armed 2,100 out of the population of around 2.6 million men, and Greece had also armed their whole navy which was the key part to the war, since no one else on the Balkans had a navy. Bulgaria, on the other hand, had 600,000 out of the population of 4.3 million men, making it the biggest army by percentage in the world. Together, the Balkan League destroyed the Ottoman Empire. The war ended on the 30th of May 1913, after the Treaty of London was signed. The Bulgarians got all of the land they ever wanted. There was one problem. Before the war, Bulgaria had signed a treaty with Serbia with which Bulgaria was to get most of Macedonia. Same thing was said in the Treaty of London, but Serbia refused to remove their divisions from Macedonia, and same with Greece. That's why, thinking that Bulgaria was able to take down the whole Balkan Peninsula, Tsar Ferdinand declared war on Serbia and Greece. The problem was that Bulgaria had promised to give Silistra to Romania, but that didn't happen. See, I'm not that biased, I also see our mistakes. That's why, on the 10th of July, 11 days after the beginning of the war, Romania declared war on Bulgaria. At the same time, the Ottoman Empire completely ignored the terms of the Treaty of London and started sending troops on the Bulgarian border. 
unable to defeat everyone at the same time, Bulgaria gave up on the tent Phobos. In Bulgarian history, the Second Balkan War is known as the first national catastrophe. On the 28th of July 1914, Austro-Hungary declared war on Serbia. The First World War broke out. Bulgaria was quick to declare a neutrality, but was still salty from the Second Balkan War. When the great powers asked Serbia and Greece what they were willing to give to Bulgaria to enter the war, they answered nothing. The Central Powers, on the other hand, were able to promise everything that Bulgaria had ever wished for, and even more. That's why, in, in September 1915, Bulgaria joined the Central Powers. Together, the Austrian, German and Bulgarian armies managed to take over Serbia and Montenegro. In 1916, Romania joined the war and later the same year Bulgaria retook Dobruja. In 1917, Greece entered the war under constant attack from the Entente on the Greek border. In 1918, the Bulgaria army ran to Sofia and forced Bulgaria to capitulate. Later the same year, Tsar Ferdinand abdicated. He got banned from Bulgaria and was never to return again. On the 7th of November 1919, a peace treaty was signed at which Bulgaria lost a lot of land, and most importantly of which was Belmorsk Trakia, or in English, a giant race. Bulgaria also had to pay to the Entente 2.25 billion gold francs and had to give all kinds of livestock like bulls, sheep, etc. In Bulgarian history, World War I is known as the second national catastrophe. But could all of this have been avoided? Is there a way that hundreds of thousands of lives could have been saved and how would that have affected history as we know it today? Let's talk about World War I again, but with one major difference. Bulgaria is in the Entente. This may seem like a crazy idea. Why would Bulgaria ever join the Entente? Like, Bulgaria loved the central powers and stuff. Well, first off, that's not true. It was more like Bulgaria hated the central powers less than the Entente. Actually, most of the Bulgarians loved Russia. This country had given so many casualties in the Russo Turkish War just for their independence. Bulgaria just wanted to take its revenge on Serbia, Greece, and Romania, who were either in the Entente or leaning towards the Entente. Also, Tsar Ferdinand hated his allies, especially Karl Hitler Wilhelm II. I mean, many people didn't like the German leader. He was quite a controversial figure. Once in 1909, he even slapped the Bulgarian Tsar on the bottom. Quite an interesting gesture. Second off, all if Serbia had promised to give at least a thir one third or one fourth of Bulgaria's Macedonia land, that really would have tipped the scale and Bulgaria would have most likely joined the Entente. Last and most importantly, the main reason why Bulgaria could have joined the Entente, the Ottoman Empire. Bulgaria had been under Ottoman rule for almost 500 years, and then after gaining independence, Bulgaria had been fighting the empire for almost four decades. Another thing is that Tsar Ferdinand really wanted to reform the Byzantine Empire, and he really wanted to rule over Constantinople. His dream was to take over Constantinople and to put a big white cross on the ancient Roman church Hagia Sophia. Why would the Bulgarians want to fight together with their main nemesis? So, there are a lot of reasons for Bulgarians to have joined the Entente. So, let's imagine that that's what happened. Now, what are the consequences of this action? Well, go to Monsieur Z's channel to find the answer. I hope you liked this video. My pink video is in the making, but I'm really lazy. I mean, busy, busy. I should really focus and just do it already. Anyways, here is just need pink. Okay, that's enough. Thanks for watching.